Good morning. Welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day. It is 4.54 a.m. and per usual, I am on my way to boot camp. I am filming today's video on Monday and I actually have boot camp today, boot camp on Wednesday, and then I leave Friday morning for my trip to Atlanta. I can't believe it's already here. It just flew by the last couple months leading up to my trip. I'm so excited though. It's my friend Michelle who recently moved to Atlanta from Australia's 50th birthday. So there's six or seven of us flying in from my group of friends and we rented this cabin Airbnb out in the woods about two hours outside of Atlanta and we're just gonna hang out, go in the hot tub, have game nights, hike. It's going to be so fun and I definitely, definitely need a little getaway and I'm so grateful Lola is healthy and I'm able to go. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. So I'm really going to push it hard at boot camp today and Wednesday since I'm going to be missing Friday and Monday because I actually don't come back from my trip until Tuesday. I'm hoping to have all of my normal content up, but we will see. There may be a few things missing while I'm on my trip just because I won't have time to film and edit it before I leave on Friday. Today is a pretty busy day. Troy and I, it's our, it's our house cleaning day. So Troy and I are going to clean the house. I've got some laundry to do, lots of emails to catch up on over the weekend. I did take a I took most of the weekend off. I took a big hike on Saturday. If you missed that in my Facebook group or over on my Instagram, I hiked Tonke Verde Falls, which was absolutely amazing here outside of Tucson. And then Troy and I went to a car show Saturday. So I kind of took Saturday off. So it's time to catch up today. I'm also refocusing a little bit on my food, really leaning more into whole real foods as I'm entering into week five of my eight week cut. So things are good, things are good, things are busy and there's some, and I'm excited for my upcoming trip. So I have appointments and things this week. So it's just going to be a little bit hectic. So I'm going to have to be very mindful of my food this week so that I can continue on the right track of my cut. So that's kind of, that's an update for you. I am going to get my workout in and then we're going to make a big protein packed healthy breakfast. It is time for breakfast. I'm super, super hungry. So I'm going to make one of my favorite high protein breakfasts. I really like this after a workout. It just kind of, it starts my day off on the right foot, gets me, gets me lots of protein, healthy carbohydrates. So what I'm going to do is make up these Simply Hash Browns. These are the diced potatoes with onions. I love the Simply Hash Browns just because they don't have any weird ingredients. They're in the fresh section of your grocery store, usually by the lunch meat, that type, the hot dogs, that area is typically where you find these. So I'm going to cook up the whole package of the diced potatoes. I typically just cook the whole package and then put it in the fridge and then I can warm it up throughout the week and make my breakfast bowl. And then I'm going to have one of the Applegate Natural Chicken and Maple Sausage Patties. I love these. Highly, highly recommend. They make an amazing breakfast sandwich as well since they are an actual sausage patty. I love these. And then I always do one egg and then about a quarter of a cup or a half of a cup of cottage cheese, depending how hungry I am. And I put that all together in a bowl. So good. Here is my little high protein breakfast bowl. Like I said, I love, love, love this breakfast. So I ended up doing a quarter of a cup or 55 grams of cottage cheese, one egg, 100 grams of Simply Hash Browns, and one sausage patty. I, al I also just finished my protein coffee. So I'll go ahead and put all of the points, macros, calories, for my coffee and my breakfast on the screen for you. So I just mixed up my Motivate No Stem Burn in Kiwi Strawberry with a full Stanley cup of water so I can start getting my water in for the day. I, like I said, I have a lot to do today, so the Motivate Burn is definitely going to help me stay focused, help burn fat, boost my metabolism, and again, I did the No Stim, which has no caffeine, and it got me thinking about Motivate in general, so I hopped on their website, and their weight loss bundle is currently on an incredible, incredible sale. The weight loss bundle actually includes all three of these products, starting with the Motivate Burn, so that's what I mixed up. This is the this is the traditional Motivate Burn that actually has the caffeine, and again, they do offer the No Stim Burn 
burn as well. It comes in several flavors, cherry lemonade, cotton candy, watermelon, island punch, mixed berry, orange burst. There's also burn capsules and no stem Miami lemonade and no stem strawberry kiwi. Now this is the Motivate Burn cotton candy and I mixed up the, like I said, no stem kiwi strawberry. Motivate Burn not only tastes delicious, but this has really changed my game, not only for weight loss, but for just daily energy and productivity. It helps reduce your appetite, supports enhanced mood, gives you feel good energy, and helps burn fat. And again, it also comes in the capsule formula. So I actually, so I'm heading out, like I mentioned, to Atlanta on Friday. I'm going to take the capsules with me just so I can get all of the amazing benefits of burn. I love the energy, the focus, the fat burn, the metabolism boost, and it tastes great. Not only does it give you all the benefits, it also helps you get in your water for the day. So you do get to choose your flavor of burn, whether you choose regular, no stem, or the capsules. And then you're also going to get the Motivate Detox or the Detox Light, whatever your preference is. I'm currently taking the regular Detox. Detox helps optimize your digestive process. It's like a gentle breeze for your digestive system, ensuring that nutrients are absorbed efficiently, leaving you energized and revitalized. It helps you beat the bloat, provides a strong full body cleanse and digestive support. Now, if you are someone like me that struggles with you know what, this definitely comes in handy. It keeps things much more regular. It helps with your digestive system so you feel better overall. And if you suffer from bloating, which is which I do, this absolutely helps with bloating. So again, I have the regular detox. There's also the detox light, which is just a lighter version of this, a little less intense, and you get to choose which one you want in the bundle. And then lastly, you're going to get the Motivate Skinny Sleep. Now, my husband loves this. He takes this every single night. This has been formulated to support a healthy metabolism, deep sleep, and weight loss. It's a natural sleep aid with an advanced nighttime formula, which helps with relaxation that your body needs, and you get a deeper level of sleep so that your hormones can be regulated, which actually plays a huge role in weight loss and maintaining your weight loss. So I really like the sleep as well. So you get all three of these products in the Motivate weight loss bundle. It's currently on sale for $99 and you can use my link and code for an additional 20% off. That is an incredible, incredible deal. So I had to share that with you as soon as I saw that it was on sale because these three are absolute Motivate staple products for me. You know I love all things Motivate. I use a lot of their supplements. So I will link the weight loss bundle down below for you, all of the discount information, and don't forget to use my link for an extra 20% off. It's really nice out. It's like 75 today. Pama! Palmer, 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 you got drop for daddy. Drop. That was 78 today. Drop, yeah, that's awesome. See, drop. Daddy, he's ready. Drop. Ready. Drop. Get it, Palmer. Yay. Lola, you get Palmer when he comes back, okay? Get him. Yeah, you get him. You get him when he comes back. Let's go, Palmer. Let's go, let's go. Woo! Good job, buddy. You think it's a ball? Yeah. Palmer, you got drop. Drop for daddy. Good boy. This dog would do this all day if we would let him. <laughs> Usually she attacks him. Are you going to attack him? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, I know. Attack him. Still attack right. him when he comes back. So my morning snack is going to be my high protein iced coffee. I've been having this, no lie, every single day since I discovered it. It's one of my very, very favorite things. This coffee right here, 35 grams of protein. I did a reel on Instagram showing how I make this. I've actually shared this in a few videos, but quickly let me show you what is in here in case you're interested in making this for yourself. So 
I use Drake Up Cold Brew as my base. So I like that little extra coffee, that little extra coffee flavor. You can make this entire recipe with water if you don't wanna use the cold brew, but I actually recommend it. I think it really enhances the coffee flavor. You can use any flavor of Drake Up Cold Brew. I make it in my cold brew pitcher. I'll link Drag Up and the pitcher down below for you. The pitcher's off of Amazon, and I do have a discount code for Drag Up. And like I said, you can use any flavor. And then I add two scoops of the Herbalife High Protein Iced Coffee. You can actually make this hotter blended as well. Yes, there will be a video coming out. A lot of you asked for a video. I plan on releasing that most likely sometime in February. So I am gonna do a video on different ways to make the protein coffee, but this is the mocha flavor. I have the regular blend and I have the caramel macchiato. They're all really delicious. So two scoops goes into the cold brew and th that's 100 calories and 15 grams of protein. Amazing. And then I do one scoop or one pack of Clean Simple Eats protein. Depends on the day, depends on the flavor. And that's going to be another 110 or 20, 100. It's gonna be another 100 calories, 20 grams of protein. So that's that makes between these two things 35 grams of protein in the iced coffee and it tastes like one of those really delicious sweet coffees from Starbucks packed with protein and only 200 calories. And then I top it off with water and ice and voila, you have high protein iced coffee. Like I said, you can make this hot, you can make this blended. That's, those are the products I use to make my coffee. I'll link everything down below for you. I have a discount for Clean Simple Eats. I'll ink the Herbalife iced coffee. Definitely check it out, but this is going to be my morning snack. This keeps me nice and satisfied because of the 35 grams of protein and I get a little caffeine boost, so no one's ever mad about that. So this is my morning snack. 35 grams of protein. So Try and I are getting ready to clean the house and I'm gonna test out my new micro fiber mop. I'm actually pretty excited about this. This is from the brand Yabet. This is an 18 inch based mop head that can cover a lot of area in a single scan. The aluminum head is lighter to use and more durable than most plastic mop heads. Mop actually comes with two different types of mop hat head pads and two of each. So we have one that's a little bit more of a scrubby light consistency. And this is for wet use. And then we have these soft microfiber ones for dry use. So the mop is really versatile. You can use it on wet, or dry surfaces. So the scrub pad for wet use has a blend weave structure for water retention and superior dirt removal properties. It doesn't leave any streaks or scratches on the floor. And then the microfiber pads for dry use have an ultra fine open weave, weave fiber with natural clinging power. So it picks up dust, hair, and fur. And it basically acts like a magnet to absorb and pick up debris easily. This is really handy if you have pets because it picks up pet hair. I also shed a lot, so I have a lot of human hair in my office, especially where I get ready, so it picks up hair really easily. So I like that it has a wet and dry version and two of each. It also comes with this amazing scrubby brush that actually cleans the debris off of the mop head before tossing it in your washer. So super easy and convenient, and it clips right to the handle of the mop for easy storage. And in fact, I love the 360 swivel head of this because it gets under everything, all of your kitchen cabinets, furniture, etc. You can use this on bamboo, glass, ceramic tile, wood, or stone flooring. The mop handle itself is adjustable, which I really like. That's, come, that's handy for Troy since he is so much taller than I am that he can actually adjust the mop up or down for depending on the height. It actually goes up to 59 inches tall. You can go ahead and hang the mop by the hole up here in the top and it also comes with a clip that you can attach to your wall with the attachment piece that's also included. So you can store it alongside your washer and dryer, hook it directly on your wall or use the device that actually attaches to the mop and adheres to your wall for storage. This just clips onto the mop like that and then this little piece right here attaches to your wall. Velcro on the base is really heavy duty and strong so the mop pad cleans perfectly and I love that you can just throw it in the washer when you're done. What's really cool is they have offered an amazing, amazing discount for you. If you use the code here on the screen, you can get the mop for 35% off, making it only $8.77. That's insane, $8.77 for the mop. I will link it down below for you with that amazing, amazing discount. Highly, highly, highly recommend. It's that time of morning where Palmer and Lola get their special bone. Again, I use these smart bones made with real chicken, no rawhide. I get these off of Amazon. I will link them for you. This is what they look like, and these two love them. Palmer, can you sit? Oh, good sit, buddy. Good job. Lola, 
No, sit. Good girl, there you go. I'm going to make myself some lunch and I couldn't decide what I wanted, if I wanted my meal prep or something else. I think I'm gonna do something else because I've been kind of liking this as a quick lunch too. So I'm going to do four ounces, which is one serving of the real good chicken nuggets. You guys already know how much I love these. They're my all time favorite. And then I'm going to do two of the little zero carb tortillas and some light mayo. And what I like to do is put the chicken in there, fold it up and eat it kind of like a chicken wrap. And then I have some pears that I need to use up. So I'm gonna slice this up and have a side and have a fruit on the side. So I'm going to throw my chicken in the air fryer. That's my favorite way to cook it just because it gets nice and crispy. So here's my lunch. This actually looks really good. Dang, I wish I had some spinach or lettuce or something to throw in the wrap, but at least I'm getting in my protein, some fiber, some good carbs with the pear. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. So for an afternoon snack, I'm actually going to make a snack plate. I've been kind of craving just random bits and bobs for a snack. I'm using this little set of four plates. It actually comes in a set of four with different colors off of Amazon. I'll link it for you. And I like this because there's a spot for a dip and then there's a big section here for all of your snacky things. So let's put together a snack plate for afternoon snack. So here's my snack. So I didn't show you these little cookies, but they're the Alyssa's Oatmeal Bites. These are the ones I eat all the time. I buy them off of her website. I'll link her website down below. I just got in eight boxes. They're so incredibly delicious. They're gluten-free, non-GMO, high fiber, and no sugar. They're so good. And then I have some mushrooms and carrots. And I have an entire serving, two tablespoons of the Simply Ranch, half of a serving of the Snickerdoodle Almonds, half of a serving of the Chetty's Crackers, and then a Colby Jack cheese stick. So this is going to be my afternoon snack. For dinner tonight, I am making sheet pan, sausage, and vegetables. This is going to be so good, whole real food, protein, veggies, good carbohydrate with potatoes. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need broccoli florets. You could do bell peppers or mini peppers. I did mini peppers. I love these roasted. They're so good. You'll also need some fresh green beans, sausage of your choice. I got smoked sausage for Troy, and then I got the bourbon apple chicken sausage for me, salt and pepper, Italian seasoning, paprika, and garlic powder. It also calls for red pepper chili flakes, so if you want a little spice, you can add those. I'm going to omit them and then you'll need some potatoes. So the first thing we're going to do is chop and the recipe says to be very strategic with your chopping so everything cooks properly and all at the same time. So I'm going to wash and dice my baby potatoes really small. I'm even going to chop up the broccoli florets. I'm gonna slice the green beans and then slice up the bell peppers. That way everything cooks and gets done at the same time. So everything is cut up. I have Troy sausage and my chicken sausage. I chopped up the broccoli, the green beans, the potatoes, and the little mini bell pepper. I lined a big, huge sheet pan with parchment and let's put everything on it. Look how pretty this looks. Everything is on the sheet pan, broccoli, green beans, potatoes, sausage, and bell peppers. So I'm going to season everything up with salt and pepper, Italian seasoning, paprika, and garlic powder. So I'm throwing everything in a 400 degree oven until it is cooked through. It says to stir everything, kind of mix it all together after about 15 minutes. I just pulled the sheet pan out of the oven. This looks so good. I'm going to go ahead and plate it up. Here is my completed dinner. So I have one of the Gilbert's chicken sausages, and then I have some of the bell peppers, potatoes, broccoli, and green beans. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros, here on the screen for you. So for dessert tonight, I'm no surprise to anybody gonna make a yogurt bowl. I pretty much eat this every day, whether it's a snack or a dessert. It's a great source of protein, helps me get in some fruit. So I'm going to do a Chobani Zero Sugar. This time I have the mixed berry. And then I'm going to put blueberries on. I usually do 50 to 100 grams, depending on how much I'm feeling like on my yogurt bowl. And then I'm going to do one tablespoon of Chia Smash. You already know I love my Chia Smash. You can get these at your local health food store, Sprout 
has them. You can also buy them on a six pack on Amazon. I'll link the Amazon ones. That's normally what I do rather than buy them at Sprouts, but you can find them usually at Whole Foods, Sprouts, that type of thing. So one tablespoon of that. And then for the crunch factor for some fiber and protein, I'm going to do half of a serving which is a quarter cup of the Catalina Crunch, the cinnamon. And that's going to give me about four and a half grams of fiber and about five and a half grams of protein. So it's a good way to up the protein, but also add a crunch. And then I love to top it with just the tiniest bit of whipped cream. This is the strawberry from Target's favorite day brand. Thank you for joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all of my good meals. I really had a great day of eating. I feel full, I feel satisfied. We got the house clean. I'm loving my new mop. And don't forget to take advantage of the Motivate Weight Loss Bundle. That's an incredible, incredible deal. Everything will be linked down below for you. Tonight's dinner recipe is on my website, as well as nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my other favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.